Hey, and welcome to this tutorial. I'm going to be quickly covering a topic which someone asked about, which was, what are some of the differences between sub-D modeling and poly modeling? And why is sometimes using more polys actually less? Okay, taking these two cylinders for an example, they look the same, right? Well, pretty much. Okay, so if we go ahead and turn on the wireframe mode, you can actually see that one of these meshes looks denser. The thing is, is that uh, with Maya's smooth preview, it's quite easy to assume that you're being efficient using 12 edges opposed to the 36 in the other cylinder, but actually that's not the case. Subdivision modeling allows us to take a low density model and smooth it into a high poly mesh. So if we actually go ahead and bring up the poly count, you can actually see that with the smooth preview on, this mesh is actually 1400 polys, which is obviously much more in the end than the other mesh. So this is just something to consider when working on your assets. If it's going to be like a hero up close asset, then maybe sub D is a good approach to go with, but for like further away models and lower level of details, LOD models, polygon modeling might be a more appropriate approach. So the thing to remember is that when you press free on your keyboard for smooth preview, you're basically just applying a smooth modifier to your mesh, which actually we can just go ahead and do. So once we apply it, it becomes super visually clear that it's now a higher density mesh. I hope this answers your question on why polymodeling is sometimes more resourceful, even though initially you're using more polygons. Both polygon modeling and sub-D modeling are both great ways to create objects and meshes, and it really just depends on the use case. So thanks for watching, please like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.